Salutations, respected viewers. This is George from Ireland. Here I am in front of uh, this memorial to the Royal Dublin Fusiliers on St. Stephen's Green, Dublin. So uh, this regiment was recruited from people from this area and these men, they fought at various wars around the world. They were disbanded in 1922 when the uh, major portion of Ireland, the southern 26 counties, ceased to be part of the United Kingdom. So this gate behind me is dedicated to those soldiers of the Royal Dublin Fusiliers who were killed in the Second South African War, 1899 to 1902. However, this uh, m monument only goes up to 1900, it says. Maybe that regiment was withdrawn from that conflict zone at the time. So it's all about the two Africana states in South Africa. When I say Africana, I mean mainly those of Dutch descent. They were whites living in South Africa. They called themselves Africanas. Some of them had arrived in South Africa as early as 1652. Um, so they'd been pushed out of the Cape. They'd left there when the British Empire had taken over and abolished slavery. They set up two states, the Orange Free State and the Transvaal Republic. They were under the paramountcy of the British Empire though. By their own agreement, what's paramountcy? It's such a nebulous term. This is one of the reasons for the conflict. But as precious metals were discovered in these Africana states, some British immigrants moved in and the Africana states wouldn't allow the British immigrants to vote until they'd had 14 years residence. And um, the British representative down there, Lord Milner, the High Commissioner, was saying, no, 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 it should only be five years residence. The Transvaal Republic and Orange Free State said, okay, well, we'll reduce it to nine years residence. The war wasn't declared by the British Empire, but they were moving in troops, they were preparing for the possibility, and the Africana states were getting Mauser rifles and artillery from Germany. But anyway, the uh, two Africana states said to the British, you've got to withdraw all your troops you brought in the last seven months, or it's war, we're giving you 48 hours to do it. It was a, an, an ultimatum designed to provoke war, but also to take the British unawares, give the Transvaal and the Orange Free State um, the element of surprise before even more reinforcements were brought in by the British. Um, because of course, uh, the British were entitled